to Wednesday's stream. Um, let's see. Well, why did it stop? Okay, it just restarted. That's fine. <laughs> it happens. Today sure is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Okay, great. Everything's working. Um, great. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I, I've been uh, setting up some new stream stuff and like... Oh! Sure, just demo. That's fine. You can you can do that for a minute. Let me turn it down. Um, I've been playing around with some new stream stuff. Um, just small changes over time. You'll see new things in streams. Just... Oh! Thank you for the head pats! And congrats, you did redeem first. You got here super freaking fast, Tuttle. That was like... Whoosh! Whoosh! It was so fast. Um, yeah! But today, as you can clearly see by the screen... <laughs> uh... Where is she? There you go. We are playing Togo Project today. We are playing, um, I might switch to a different one later on, but we're starting. Are these them their Togos? Uh huh. huh. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> um, this is the ninth mainline game, uh, which is called Phantasmagoria of Flower View. I think the head pads are broken. Oh no. Uh, I don't. I'll have to figure that out later. But rip to broken head pads. I don't know why it's on that. Um. That's not good. We are playing Phantasmagoria of Flower View. Um. This is a one of the weirder. Not weirder. Uh, more unique. Toho games. Uh, in the main line. Um, because it's like a quote-unquote a PvP game. That's not really, it's not really accurate, but, um, that's kind of what it is. I listen to way too much Toho music considering I have never even touched a Toho game. Then that, 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 that means you're a fan. <laughs> what you have to be into to be considered a Toho fan is so loose. Because the games themselves are just very, like, small things that created a very large fan community to the point where uh toho has its own variant of comic cat every year so um there's tons of people who consider themselves fans and they're like only into the music or they're only into the characters or they're only into like mods that make it really difficult or they're only into like f certain fan games like there are people whose entire fandom in Toho revolves around their love of Kamajo Densetsu, which is fine. That game is just really hard <laughs> for me. Well, it's been a long time since I've played it, but that game is- I, I'm not good at Castlevania types. Um, anyway, enough- enough of me talking. Um, <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I've played a Toho game. So I'm going to move the mic away from my face, please. Okay, thank you. I'm going to start on normal, but if I end up being awful, absolutely terrible, I might switch. But it looks like... Oh, no, wait. I... <laughs> the Yama's the only person not cleared on this account. <laughs> We're not going to do the Yama. <laughs> not right off the bat, at least. Um... There are a lot of characters you can play as in this game as well, and each one has their own story mode. Um, which the story modes in here are pretty loose. You fight... No, wait, I'm just not even gonna explain. I'm, I'll just play through as an example, and we'll start with Meiru. At least the lake service hasn't changed from the normal spring. Oh, right! Um, so the intro, I forgot. So basically, in this game, in all the Toho games, what starts the events of the game is an incident, right? So, like, something unusual happening. That's, that's the mainline theme for all the Toho games. This one, there's an overabundance of flowers, like, growing. Um, like, it's like, 
yeah, it's springtime and there's flowers blooming, but to the point where the amount is kind of concerning to people. So, Reimu, who is a shoot first, ask questions later type. Oh, right, this game is different. <laughs> um, Reimu is a shoot first, ask questions later type. Uh, the, her brashness, like in canon, or like, I guess, like what we consider to be canon, maybe it's canon. I don't know. What, whatever is considered Joho canon these days, I'm not super sure anymore. She reminds me of Fox McCloud a little bit in terms of personality. I don't know why. Oh yeah, but th this game is different, so basically you have to uh, battle each other. So in addition to shooting all the other targets, which is the basic rule of all shmups, you're also uh, dealing spell cards to your opponent. Explain spell cards in a minute. Um, sure, that's a, that's just a saving grace for now. Uh, <laughs> ah, fuck. Wait, no, I won. Ha ha ha! Suck it, Cherno. Uh, <laughs> so your goal is basically to overwhelm your opponent and knock them out before you get knocked out. Yeah, one is the CPU, and you're fighting each other. Sorry, I I somehow, I bit my tongue, or I got a cut on my tongue or something, so, like, talking is a little difficult this week. <laughs> I apologize. It's in the worst spot. It's, like, running against my tooth. So anytime I talk, I feel it, and it makes me stick my tongue out a little weird. And it's... Anyway, so you're... F uh, I'm playing as Reimu, the one on the left, and then the one on the right is the CPU, and we're quote-unquote doing battle. Um, you rack up combo points... And s someone could show up in here and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure. I, It's been a minute. I've been a Toho fan for a long time, and it's been... My, like, hardcore interest was a long time ago, you know what I mean? Anyway. I'm rambling tonight, I'm so sorry. Um... <laughs> too hard to different. Yeah, there's also a shitload of characters. I get that too. And they're all, they're all, they're all ladies. You know, I'm something of a Toho fan myself. <laughs> oh, I've been a Toho fan for too long. Um, what game are we on now? 18.5. Uh, I, I was, when I got into the fandom, I think 12 was the newest. That was uh, over 10 years ago. <laughs> this is a very old series. Uh, the older games came out on the PC-98 console, which is not a console, it's just a... I believe it's a type of PC. My- all of my knowledge is way rustier than I realized going into this, and maybe I should have done some reading. You know what? This- this stream is always messy, so I'm just going to roll with it. But, um, you need an emulator to play the first five. Um, they're- there are also bullet hell smokes, but they're they're just different because they're um, on older generation. They're not on Windows, you know what I mean? I've been saying you know what I mean a lot today too. <laughs> I you can tell I'm like I'm like out of practice because I didn't stream on Sunday. I'm just being kind of goof, but it's fine. We're having some goofs, having some gaffs. Um, also, I haven't been reading what they're actually saying the entire time. I'm sorry, it's- but it's probably fine. Um... <laughs> There's a lot going on for this entire series, not to mention the games themselves. Chat notably hates goofs and gaffs. Oh, that's- that's depressing. Who is it next? So we fought Cherno first, and then Mistia, who is a Night Sparrow. Cherno's the fairy, she's the... if you know anything about Baka. It's, a uh, Lyrica! Lyrica Prism River. Her hair is white in this game. Why is her hair white in this game? Because Merlin's hair is yellow, and Lunasa's hair is blue. But in, like, every other game, Lyrica's hair is brown. Why did Zune color her hair? But anyway, these games were also made by one person. And like, that's something in and of itself that gives it like its notoriety. 
these games are made by one person. Except the fighting spin-offs, um, those have assistance. No. Oh god! Dang it, Prowler, you made- I think you made me run into a bullet, but thank you for the subscription anyway. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's just a prism river, they're not that- they're not that bad. Oh, fuck off, Lyrica. Prism rivers are neat. Also, like, if you take time to get into, like, the- the in-depthness of Toho, there's also so much lore. It's one of those series that it's got, like, so much lore, but also, it's got so much stupid fan and bullshit, you know what I mean? Um, I can think of a couple of old, uh, fan music videos that would just- that- Oh, don't you caution last life me, goodbye. <laughs> White hair anime girls are pretty doesn't need any other reason. The only reason I'm calling it out is because in everything else her hair is brown. So I'm like, what, what, why the sudden change? And then pivot back to whatever, to the next game they're in. Twelve point five, no. Thirteen point five? Oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> I have all of the games. I just can't remember. Racing! Racing! was my first Toho love. Like, she was my first favorite character. For me, having a favorite Toho character is like having a favorite Pokemon, because there's so many, there are so many Toho characters. Um, <laughs> but Raisin was my first favorite. Uh, like, I cosplayed her and everything. I love Raisin. I still do, but like, it's just not as much because like, you know, like, when you have multiple favorite po I I can't relate to this in any other way other than Pokemon, but... <laughs> when you have multiple favorite Pokemon and it's like, some of them are like, your ultimate favorite for a while, and then they fall out of favor for the other favorites, the other favorites become the ultimate favorite. It's a whole thing. It's hard to explain what's going on on the screen in this game in particular. Um, because there's... I think there's a little tiny bit of RNG, or like, unpredictability rather, no, no, maybe not RNG in particular, to what floats on your screen, based on like, the CPU and stuff. Like obviously when they do their spell cards and they do their traditional attacks, like the bullet storm that I'm currently getting my ass kicked by, um, like those are going to be the same every time, but like these these things are like flying and when uh boom doesn't matter i won anyway for me i just roll the dice on which character i'm normal about <laughs> i guess yeah oh no <laughs> yeah um i have well there's a reason that like um there's a toho popularity poll every year um, where they register, there's a music one too, um, but I think I only voted in the character one this past year. Um, they rank all the characters' favorites from all the fans, and then they count the votes, and it's like, oh, here's the most popular character this year. Uh, it's usually a subset of characters that get top every year, and it makes sense. Like, most people know who Reimu is, most people know who Marisa is, you know what I mean? Uh, not a ton of people know who, like, Iku or Momoyo are. Uh, Yomu is another one that's really popular. Speaking of white-haired anime girls, this one- this time it's on purpose. Oh, right. Uh, so what Reimu is referring to here is in Toho 7, basically, uh, Spring just never showed up. So they went to the netherworld, which is straight up where Yomu lives. And Yomu's boss was like, Ayo, it's this spring? No, I need that. And then Reimu was like, no, you fucking do not. And then saw, saved the day. The day is saved, thanks to the help of the power of the girls. But it's not. Yeah. That, it's, it's completely normal. Also, when you're playing- Ah, oh, bot! Each character has different, like, little things they can do. Um, 
And Yomos are these little black holes of just death and suffering. And I, f I don't know what their hitboxes are, but whatever it is, it scares me. But like, Remus popular, Yomo's popular, Flandre's popular, and I think Flandre is the character of that one this year. So it, like, it makes sense. But when you're a huge weeb like me and you spend 10 years invested in the series, uh, you develop fondness for other characters that are more obscure. Which is, which is normal and healthy for a fandom's... I almost said economy? And I don't know what I was going on about there. <laughs> Oh, okay. Next stage. Anyway, this wasn't caused by Yomu. But it looks like we're headed to, like... Also, the games have 2D environment, but these they always have these really interesting scrolling backgrounds that just give it a really nice, like, a uh, slick look to it. I don't know. Also, she's always like, I'm out of leads every game. Until she gets to the actual, like, end of the game. Yeah, the backgrounds are always really cool. Even in the older ones. Like, uh, stage one of Perfect Cherry Blossom has a really nice snow one. And then 12.8, which is the one where you play as Cherno. Uh, that game has some really nice backgrounds as well. And it's Sakuya! That's another character that everybody knows. Because, you know... The Night of Nights is in every rhythm game. <laughs> You've been over opportunistic with all the flower viewing. Flower viewing. I don't even know what that means, Sophia. Hey, hey, it's the hey, it's the song. It's the song. It's the song. It's the song. Oh yeah, she she just throws knives at you. I mean, there's a reason, like, a lot of fan content uh, associates her with Dio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which, uh, I guess part three spoilers to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but maybe not a spoiler if you've been on the internet for any amount of time. Uh, Dio can control time in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, right? Fuck you! Um, Sakuya can stop time with similar constraints, I believe. Um, a little bit less strict, I think. Oh, oh fuck, she got me. I know Red Toho, Blue Toho, and Utsuho. Utsuho is fantastic! I'm so glad! I love her. She is my bird brain favorite. I love Utsuho. Maybe I'll do 11 after, after 9. I don't know. Um, but Utsuho is a crow. And I would say, she, I would say her intelligence is on par with the fifth grader, because you know crows have like what fifth grade level intelligence. Oku's not very smart. You have characters with like wide ranges of like intelligences and talents and powers and all sorts of crazy crap. Um, Reimu is one of the only like plain ass human characters. So is Marisa. Um. But you've got fairies, vampires, uh, orfish? Uh, actual celestials? Ah, fucking Sakuya! Please, get off my back! Thank you! Ah, that's not what I asked for! Uh, damn it! Time powers will really coach at my favorite in realistic story. Uh, how many lives do I have left? I don't even know. I'm not about to look for where it is on my screen. I'm not about to lose focus this time. I'll admit that I've been a little sloppy up to this stage. It's also because I've been focusing a little more on talking and not sounding like an absolute dork. Has it worked? I don't know. Oh, Lily! Is it Lily Black or Lily White? I don't know. No, it's 
absolutely right. I'm going the opposite. Get out of here, Sathya! Ah, oh, jeez. She got me in life. Mm, I could have dodged that. I could have dodged that if I was good. Boom! There we go. But yeah, there are crows. There's a chicken. <laughs> um, there's a cow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 17 is one of my favorites, and that's where the chicken and the cow are from. Um, what else is there? There are rabbits. There's Princess Kaguya from the Bamboo Cutter Fairy Tale. Yes! I don't think she's technically a chicken, but no, she's, she's definitely a chicken. Or in, like, the realm of chicken and related species of birds. Absolutely. Her name is Kutaka. She's very cute. Oh, this music is a shift. I think we're getting somewhere. Even the lotus flowers are in full bloom. It was tough searching and I couldn't find her, so I wondered where she... Love this... Oh god, never mind. I... <laughs> it's Aya. I don't care. She's... Hi, Aya. <laughs> oh lord, she's... The, the most heinous, savage journalist you have ever met in your life. I don't know how to explain Aya in any other way. Maybe Hatate, who is a different Tengu. Aya is a Tengu. I don't know if I said that already. Um. Wait, who are you? Oh, right. This is the game. This is where Aya gets introduced. This is the game she gets introduced in. <laughs> I forgot about that. Aya Shomimaru. She's a newspaper reporter Tengu. So her like fanon is that she's like an irritating paparazzi. I think the newspaper is called Bunbun Marunus. But yeah, Reimu exterminates Yokai, that's her job. Even though, like there no one no one dies. No one dies in this game. I was in the middle of indiscriminately exterminating any yokai I might find. Reimu, that's not nice. Like I said, she's a very shoot first, ask questions later type of protag. Um, and it bites her in the ass. Not all the time, but a uh, pretty fair amount of time. Also, some, like, the incidents get resolved, but, like, Nothing's ever, like, too positive or too negative. Like, endings tend to be a lot more ambiguous than anything else. And there are multiple endings to each game as well, depending on, um... Well, this game has multiple endings, of course, because you have all, like, the different characters you play as. But you always have multiple endings because, um, every time a game you, have, you can play as either Reimu or Marisa. And this is from the all the Windows games. This isn't including PC-98. And then you have endings based on whether you uh, weren't able to complete, or whether you use continues or not. Oh, golly! Okay. Leave me alone. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Aw, oh, damn it! I went right into that. Making sure I didn't accidentally move the window off of OBS because I had to move the window closer to where I could see better so I don't fuck up so badly. <laughs> Some of the games, the copies that I have at least, you can't change the resolution, which is slightly irritating just because my eyesight's just dumb and bad and awful. Very grateful to the ones where I can make it a lot bigger. Ah! Whoops. So far, 
are so good. Oh, Lily again, Lily again. No! Damn it! I. Shoot. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh no! Oh, dead. Whoa, okay, that was fast. Oh, jeez! Her, some of her bullets come so quickly. And with Lily happening at the same time, it's a lot. Oh, I think she's on her last side. Oh, god damn it, Aya, get out of here, get out of here. No! Damn it! And that's out of lives. I don't know if I have to restart or not. Fighting with me won't give me news or anything. Yeah, I would assume not. I have three continues. See? Okay. But all the games have continues. Um, and what ending you get usually depends on if you use one or not. Or I think some of them might... Have different endings on if you used one or two. I feel like I'm wrong. I am. Anyway, I am using one because I don't care. Um, I've never been super great at- oh shh, that was an accident. I've never been super great at these games. Um, I used to break- This cut on my tongue is driving me insane! Um, I used to be pretty good at the fighter games, um, which is like 10.5, 7, uh, 12.3, and so on. Um, but the actual shmups, I'm not the best at. And like, the other day, I was watching Wonderful stream. And she was doing this shit on a fucking poppin' controller? And I was just like, how in the hell? Damn it. Damn it. No! Fuck! That was just me being awful. That was just me being awful. Or not. Damn it. That was just not good. Another thing this game has that's different from the other ones, in addition to the whole split-screen, you're like, kind of PvPvE or whatever, um, is that you can hold down your shots for a charge and that'll do a spell attack? I'm not 100% sure why that's a thing, but it is. Oh, I flew right into that like an absolute dummy. Like a dummy! No, 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 Ah, fuck. Get out of here, Shonenwire. I don't want to be your fucking news subject. Don't bother your coworkers. I know you have them. I've met one of them. She's crazy and has a flip phone. Whoa! We have beat the bird. There are lots of birds in this game. There, well, there's three. T I think there's three Tango now. Well, you have uh, a couple different Kitsune. You have cats. You have wolves. You have uh, a lots of different Sukumogami. You have Satori. Uh, a lot of other yokai. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, there's Kogasa. I just I love Kogasa. I can finally see my destination. Oh, I think we got from Aya where to go. I I I just can't hear the dialogue. There's not there's not a ton of substance. You see what I you know what I mean? Like there is a story. But as you can see, there's a but now I can kind of tell what flowers we're looking at, and it's very clearly spider lilies. There are two other things that are abnormally increasing. Unusual quantity of fairies. And well, I guess they're probably just entranced by the flowers. There she is! There she is! It 
It's Komachi! I love Komachi! She's great! I aspire to be as much of a slack off at work as her. <laughs> yep, and she, that, speaking of different things, she's a Shinigami. As if the scythe wasn't a pretty obvious giveaway. And the fact that we're at the Sonzu River, which, um, if you know your, like, Greek mythology, I think, uh, is the River Styx. It's the same concept. I won't be crossing. I have no money. She's the first class Sonzu River guide. Amachi Onozuka. She's great. Her, um, uh, her bullets are, um, uh, you know how back in, like, the olden days... Uh, you had to put a coin under your tongue to pay the ferryman to pass the river Styx. Her, her bullets are coins. <laughs> it's great. Uh, they they kind of look like hundred yen coins with holes in them. On the luxury cruise, this is it doesn't limited offer ten percent off. Spirits, flowers, spirits, spirits are multiplying. Do you want to know? Do you want to know why the flowers are multiplying and the spirits are multiplying? Because she was so she was so paying attention to the flowers, she didn't pay attention to the fact that there were spirits everywhere. And the spider lilies are blooming, and if you don't kind of get what that means, I think spider lilies are very, like, much a motif for death in Japanese culture, or maybe a bunch of different cultures and not just Japanese culture, but I only know it from this one. You look like you know something. Well, I'll be off here. I have work and all. It's... Could it be that you didn't ship the spirits to the Higan Shores like you were supposed to? Hmm. I wonder! <laughs> slacking off. She was slacking off. That's the reason this is happening. Tomachi was slacking off. I got it. If you're saying you're gonna interfere with my work, then I'll ferry you over with my Titanic. 50% off. <laughs> Tomachi wasn't doing her job, and as a result... Gensokyo is now flooded with an overabundance of flowers and spirits and also fairies? Maybe? Woof! 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 Ah, oh, damn it! of this run. There's one more. Ah! 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 Oh! Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on. Oh, fuck! No! Awful. Alright. Let's try again. For context of how quote unquote decent I am good I am? Decent I will accept the I'll accept that I'm decent at these games. Um I can beat most of them on easy mode. This is normal mode. Fuck! Now I'm just doing really bad. Oh my god! So many bullets! I get that that's the point of the game, but come on! 
This isn't even hard mode either. That's the sad part. And there's a mode after hard mode. Ah, beans. Do you have money on you in the first place? No, we are not dead and crossing the river, you dumb dumb. <laughs> yes, I will use the continue. I don't. I don't care about of uh, no CC clear. I have never cared about that kind of stuff. If I did, I would probably make myself miserable playing these games trying to get good. Okay, so far so good, so far so good, so far so good. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Ah. No, 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 no. Frick! Really what you need to be doing, or what I need to be doing, I guess, is timing my bombs to where um, I'm about to get hit and that's what they're used for. Because that's what the rule of thumb generally is in like the games that are not POFE. POFE is just such a unique entry in the series. I don't know. I really like it though. It's got one of my favorite like mainline story beats. Um, And I like that you can play so many different characters. Um, like, I don't even- This is like the only game you can play as, uh, one of the prison murders. Uh, mainline. Main, like, official game. There we go! Get out of here, Komachi! Ah! Take your huge ship and ferry those ghosts. Looks like you're a quitter! Call your boss! No, don't call my boss! There's the boss anyway! Are you slacking off? Your boss came. <laughs> anyway, her boss is the final fight of the of the run. As if that wasn't incredibly obvious. She didn't bring in any souls after a long time, so I came here to check it what what she's doing. She's fooling around with the Shrine Maiden! She seemed like a more diligent person when I first met her, bro. You're the boss. You caused the flower outbreak, right? That's not the... <laughs> anyway, while they're talking, uh, this green-haired lady is the Shiki. Uh, I believe the full name, which I don't even know if they really use the full name anymore, but it's it's a mouthful. It's uh, Shiki Aki Yama Xanadu. <laughs> like Xanadu, like the, like the Olivia Newton John song, but not like the Olivia Newton John song. It's spelled the same though. Um, but she's the Yama, which is, if I remember correctly, a whole thing about like uh, judging when you go to, whether you go to like heaven or hell in the underworld type of thing, they judge your soul and determine where you go, and there's a bunch of them, if I remember right. I, I feel like that's- I'm not- like, I, I'm not- I'm not a great source of information. Like, I have so much stuff jammed into this brain, this head that has horns and wool coming out of it. Anyway. They are talking. The flowers aren't there to do something because there are too many spirits without a place the flower incident occurred. And she's like, I'm gonna fight you. It doesn't bother us, it shouldn't be a problem to you. Also, if the ghosts can make the flowers bloom, they can still believe they're alive. I don't think it would hurt to leave them alone. Rima's like, that's not the problem. If I leave the incident alone, I'll look like I'm slacking off. <laughs> Making fun of Komachi for slacking off. And then she would get called out. 
If I just beat you instead of complaining, everything will turn to normal right. Good one-line summary of Ramus' character. Oh, and now she's getting judged. Without much of a reason, you've exterminated many yokai. It was not once or twice that you defeated ones that weren't yokai, because you're not supposed to, like, fight humans or whatever. And despite being a shrine maiden, you do no exchange with God. There are times where you even bury your fangs towards God. Yes, your karma runs a little too deep. She's getting judged by the Yama, baby. I think everybody gets judged by the Yama when they fight the Yama. And it's like all of their, like, bad traits. Which Ramus is her shoot first, ask questions later thing. And then the Yama, you know, the Yama cares about, like, the whole, she's a shrine maiden, she's supposed to do religious stuff. She, she really doesn't do anything religious. And if I won't be able to go to hell, I'll just go to that other world. What other world are you talking about? Another world? Like... <laughs> Raymond's like, you can't tell me what to do. And Yama's like, no, actually. Yes. Yes, I- yes, I do. Like, not right now, because you're not dead yet, but like, when you die, yes, I do. <laughs> Raymond's like, bro, I'm just trying to do my job. A thief, a killer, or in war, there are people who work in those areas as well. Just because it is their job, it will not pardon their sins. Hey! I like that line of thought, I think. I, I don't know. There's a lot of words on the screen right now. I'll consider that after defeating you and bringing the flowers back to normal. Raymu. I don't quite think that's how it works. You just need Kamachi to get off her ass and do her job, and then things will be fine. Fighting- fighting someone who is, like... I don't know if she's technically a god, but she's, like... In terms of, like, Toho tier levels of, like, beings, she's up there. She's not, like, uh, Okina or Yukari, I think. Actually, I don't- <sighs> Yukari is a weird one. But, like, the Yama definitely- I would assume has more power than, like, Yuyuko, or anybody that in, uh, Former Hell or anything like that. Definitely more than anyone on the Palanquin. Palanquin? How do you pronounce it? I don't know. Oh my god, there's a lot of bullets. Oh, lord have mercy! That's a lot. The, the little corncob looking things, like, in case you're like, what in the hell is that? That's, uh, the Yama sword. It looks, it just looks like that. I'm not 100% sure why. I'm pretty sure there's a, probably a very serious and logical reason behind it. I just don't know. Get out of here, please. refer to the color of their outfits. I believe it's two, like, actually two separate lilies. 
actually, I don't even think there's a canon explanation for that, and that one's just like a hundred percent canon. I always feel like I know things before I start streaming, and then I actually start streaming and try to talk about stuff, and then I just fuck, and then I just ah, blah, 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 I fumble, and I stumble. And I get my ass beat by these Yama swords, and it's just. Please. Shiki, I swear I'm not as bad as some of the other people in this game. Looking at you, Raisin! I continue. I don't care. I will maybe, might, maybe defeat you. I don't know. Also, I like how when you go back and forth, and your sprite does a little, like, shift. stuff is kind of cringy, but let's be honest, it wouldn't actually be a fandom if there wasn't some cringy stuff in there somewhere. I've been in some fandoms. I know what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, no, it's not both of them at the same time! No! 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 was just unlucky. Oof! Oof! No! Please! Please! Ah! I do not have the time. Oh, Lord. Ah! I keep making the same mistake. I'm really not meaning to. Okay. 
okay. Okay. We're doing all right. Oh, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Oh, no, we're not doing okay. We're not doing okay at all. So far, so good. So far, so good. Sorry, I'm, I'm not really trying to do this. Oh, damn it. Nuts. No, don't tell me that, man. that run <laughs> it's okay it happens um <laughs> normal mode is hard it's fine <laughs> let's try you know what there's no harm I love how only Reimu has been cleared on easy mode and no one else has um, but we have everybody unlocked, though. Um... Let's not play as Raymo. Let's play as... Let's play as... Chirno. She's my favorite little dumb moron. That's your no song. It's Mistia! Mistia's pretty simple. She's just a she's a ninth sparrow. She's a sparrow, but also a yokai. Very, very not like a lot of complications with her as a character. Very simple. You have some characters that like like you have a uh, Kane, who is aware of Hakutaku and has like tons and tons of like information behind like act just just her as like her existence and like how she came to be as a character. And then Misty is just like eh, she's just a night sparrow. She runs a takoyaki stand. That's it. Like that that's all it is. <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. Her whole her whole her whole shtick is that she like well, one, she enjoys singing because, you know, sparrows, they do enjoy singing. Some, and I think she functions better in the dark. Bye bye. That was easy. If I freeze cherry blossoms, they become deadly weapons! With this, I'm invincible! Yes, yes. Yes, child, just just keep thinking like that. I'm sure things will work out for you. <laughs> oh boy. 
Next is probably Lyrica, I'm guessing from the background. A weirdo comes along! You can't see anything if you're above the clouds, you dum-dum. You dum 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 -ruski. Also, Lyrica is cool that she has uh, bullets shooting in two directions. Yeah, I think this is the only game she's playable in. This is the only game that, uh, obviously the Yama is only playable in this game. Yama, she's only in like the background of Hopeless Masquerade. Hopeless Masquerade is the only way to have everybody in the back, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Kamachi's in a lot of the other fighters. Ooh. Um, Chirno, I mean, fuck, Shin's around the side game. Um, but, da, 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 but, yeah, Lyrica's only playable in this game. I think Tay is only playable in this game. Yuka is only playable in this game. Mistia is only playable in this game. There's one or two more, I think. This, this one has a big player character roster, which is not normal. Usually it's like three characters that's your playable, playable character roster. Ice tends to stick to me, so I should try to avoid coming here. You're using your brain, kid. Proud of you. Now we're in, I think, the bamboo forest? Well. The bamboo forest in Gensokyo is called the bamboo forest of the lost. So of course she would get lost. It's known for people, people get lost in the forest and only a couple people know their way around and can get uh, humans out. So like if a human wanders into the village, uh, a human from the human village, because there is a human village of just regular ass humans, wanders into the bamboo forest of the lost, they need one of the residents of the forest to lead them out. <laughs> I didn't call you, but I want you to tell me the way out. <laughs> hey, he's like, nah. Tay hey has a reputation for being a prankster. She's also a lucky rabbit. As a, I, I feel like that's a little bit obvious. Because, you know, she's got the white rabbit ears and stuff, and I think it's, like, important. The white rabbit is lucky or whatever. I'm not 100% sure. I've said that so many times tonight. I sound like a fucking broken record. I apologize. I should... <laughs> I should really try and get better about that, shouldn't I? Oof. Oof, oof. Here, rabbit. You rascally rabbit. Only I'm not Elmer Fudd. Also, I really like Tay's song. Um, and I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh no, that's my last life. I don't remember off the top of my head if she has a different song in Parish on the Night, which is the first game she appears in. But the song that they use in POFV, I way prefer. It's like what P like Sakuya has a different song. <coughs> oh my god, my throat. Hang on. Um, Sakuya has a different song in the game she first appeared in. But everybody knows her for the one that she got in this game. <clears throat> My throat was just like, no, so I had to get water. It suddenly got real cold! About that. Just a noisy fairy about. There shouldn't be much of a change. Everyone, Fairies are weak little babbies in the Gensokyo verse. I can't believe I just said that out loud. Um... <laughs> But Chirno thinks she's stronger than everybody else and likes to pick fights. Most of the time she's wrong. But um, just, in, just in this particular instance, she is correct. Is it because I am controlling her? 
Uh, that is for none of us to know. That's a mystery. She is obviously an ice fairy, if you couldn't tell by the fact that her wings are literally just icicles. But um, she does have her own side game, which is uh, Toho 12.8. If you ever hear of one of the games and you hear, uh, like, a number like 7.5, 12.3, those are main, like, official games, but they're not, sh they're usually not shmups. They're usually shmups with a twist and you're not doing the shooting yourself, or they're the fighting games. And the one for Cherno, which I can't remember the actual name of the game off the top of my head, um, whew, you, it's a, it's a shmup with a twist game, and you're doing the usual shooting of the baddies, but the way for Tierno to overcome the stages is to freeze all the bullets on the stage, so you time your, like, charge shots right, and you can, like, freeze the entire screen worth of bullets and they just go away. It's really neat. Um, it might be one of my favorite of, like, the point vibes, point, point whatevers. And the art's really pretty. Um, I think he got a guest- I think Zune, who's the guy that makes the game, got a guest artist for 12.8 to do the character portraits. They're very cute. Who is this? Sakuyu again? When picking frozen flowers, it makes a nice feeling sound. Sakuyu is just like, yep. Yeah. Lots of characters have really, like, mysterious background lore. I think Sakuya's is up there in terms of, like, interesting. Because Sakuya's a human, technically. But she also canonically has red eyes, which a lot of times she's drawn with blue eyes, but, like, I believe she has red in this one? I just looked at her portrait and I can't remember. Um. <laughs> That's sad. She can stop time. She can summon knives from out of nowhere, just knives in particular, really. Um, she's been a servant to Romelia, who is the blue haired vampire character. I feel like if oh, well, most people know Toho characters, they know the ones from Combining of Scarlet Devil, which is Toho 6, the first Windows game to come out, it came out in 2002, so it's. 20 years old this year, hot damn. Um, they know the characters from EOSD because it's been out the longest, and it's been named on the artist because it's been out the longest. Can you leave me alone? Thank you. Oh. Freezing an area and lying down on them is more fun. Congratulations, that is a big discovery for you. I'm over here on the side like, good job, Tierno, good job, do what you're doing. <laughs> She's just bored and looking at the flowers. There's a fairy that doesn't really fit with flowers here, it's racing. I ripped a flower or two into pieces. Oh man. Cheer, no, you're so tough and cool and cool and tough. Grayson has really cool abilities. Um, if basically if you make eye contact with her, she can drive you to the point of like like, what is medically defined as insanity. Like, if you have a period of, like, psychosis insanity type of thing. Like, cause her whole thing is she is a rabbit from the moon, right? No shit, I'm not making that up. Um, she's a rabbit from the moon. And, like, you know, like, there's, like, a whole, like, thing that I don't know a lot about, but it's a thing where, like, Staring at the moon will drive you to lunacy. That's why it's called lunacy in the first place. Cause Luna Moon, you know? You know, I don't quite get how we got to that point, but we did. Also, why can I not shoot bullets? Oh, I think it's, oh, there we go. Oh, 
Also, Grayson's bullets are like actual ass gun bullets. That's why they're shaped the way they are. Cause like, she literally, she canonically points and shoots, like, does, she does finger guns to attack when she, when she does some of the spell cards. Like, it's not animated or anything, obviously, but like, a lot of her, the character art has portraits of her doing finger guns. Finger guns are a thing with her. Cowboy Bebop, you know? Woof, woof, woof! <laughs> Whoops. It's fine. It's good. Oof. When I first got into Jolo, I think Imperishable Night, which is the game Tay and Racing come from. What's my favorite game? I think it might be my favorite music-wise, still. It's not really my favorite to play anymore, or my favorite, like, in terms of, like, story. But I still think the music from, uh, Imperishable Night is some of the best in the game. You have, um, Imperishable Full Moon, which is what is playing right now. You have Voyage 1969, which is, like, in my opinion, one of the nicest Toho songs in the whole series. You have Kavias, which is really uh, catchy if you've ever heard uh, Help Me, Aaron. That's Kavias. So, like, lots of really good. One of my favorite variants of, like, the quote unquote main Toho theme that's used from, like, 7 to, like, 12 or whatever um, has one of my favorite main screen menu musics. You get, you get my point. Anyway, we are like at the lake with- she's looking for frogs to freeze. I already knew. There's been someone tailing me for a while. I guarantee you she did not. There's a giant toad living here, so I think you should be a little careful. <laughs> For those who are unaware, Tierno's sworn enemy are frogs. She likes to freeze frogs. That's her, like, that's her favorite pastime. I thought of something more fun than freezing a frog. It's freezing the Tengu. Poor froggies. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think she just freezes them and lets them fall out, and they're usually fine. There is, there is, um, a goddess in one of the games that comes after this one, whose whole motif is frogs. So it makes for some- I don't know- I don't believe they have any, like, canon interaction in the, in the actual games, but the fan interactions between the two is hilarious. Also, especially considering that one of them is like an actual god and the other one is Cherno. <laughs> Not faulting against Cherno, there's just a big power dynamic, you know what I mean? But you can have uh in this in this universe, if I understand it correctly, you can have gods of multiple varying powers. Like, quote unquote power levels. I don't know, very Mal Z something, something, something. Um whew. Because, um, in Mountain of Faith, your first two enemies are literally gods of the harvest. Which, like, obviously that's not something to be, like, super powerful god of, you know? Like, you have character- you can have, like, the god of the rivers, the god of the mountains. The god of the autumn harvest is not, like, it's, it's powerful in its own ways, but maybe not in, like, bringing the hurt, you know what I mean? Attacking the voice of the society is cruel, you know. 
And she's just like, well, I'm on to the frog now. <laughs> she's just so, she's, she's Juno. Oh, sunflowers. This is different from last time. It's still spring, but the sunflowers are in full bloom. It's Yuka! Yuka's, uh, yeah. This tongue cut is driving me crazy. Yuka's a neat character. There are only four characters from um, the PC-98 Toho games that made it into the windows. Raymo and Marisa are the first two and the most obvious. Um, the third is Alice Margatroyd, who is in this game, actually. And then the fourth is Yuka. But Yuka used to have long hair. Her hair's short now. Her, she's also associated with sunflowers. I don't even remember what species she is. <clears throat> I'm an ice fairy. I can't be the sun. I'm of ice. She, Yuka's basically, like, making threats. Maybe I shouldn't have come here. She's basically like, hey, sunflowers, come eat the fairy. <laughs> or, like, sting the fairy? But she made, like, a bee allegory? I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I don't remember what species Yuka is. Every every color, like every like main like obviously there are like variations of colors like mustard for yellow, chartreuse for green, you know. But I think there's every color. There's there's a Toho character with every color for different hair. Like we have blue and green on screen. Grayson's is like lavender. Mari says blonde. Remu is either brunette or has just black hair. Um, the Ocarins is brown, but it fades to like a weird purple thing. I think that's just purple. You've got pink with Satori and teal with Koishi. You have like fire engine red with Wind Kaimyo. You've got uh, different shades of blue with like Shion and Gamelia um, and stuff. You got lots of green with like Yuka and Hina and I guess Mima. Mima's in PC98 only, I don't know if that counts. Um for yellow, you've got like mostly blondes like Suika and uh, UV and stuff. Hasten has pink hair. Hasten is my favorite character in the whole Jihang Gosh Diddly Darn series. She's cool. She's neat. She's like the strict aunt. She's like the strict aunt, but also is the strict aunt that like when you get like A's, will even though you're like 15, will let you have a little bit of alcohol at the Christmas party because you work hard at school. Like she's that kind of aunt. She's also the type of aunt that has way too many pets because she's like, she's like a mountain hermit and her whole thing is like, she can communicate with like, all species of animals and stuff. So neat. So cool. One of her arms is just, is just a ghost. For, for very good reasons that I will not get into because it's kind of spoilers. Wow, total spoilers. <laughs> anyway, we should leave. Yuka's like, get the fuck out. But she's not gonna say it outright. She's a very cryptic, spooky chick. Oh, we just skip Komachi and go straight to the Yama. There aren't any weirdos here. Hey, isn't this a graveyard? Who cares? The cherry blossoms are pretty. It is rare for a fairy who hates gloomy things to come here. It is true, she does hate gloomy things. She is a very cheerful uh, fairy. So while looking for a place to play, you inadvertently wandered into Muenotsuka. I don't know what that is. 
I'm sure it's a thing. Every human will one day die. Thanks, Yama. A graveyard is for the sake of the people living. I mean, yeah, I get it. The graveyard is a place with people like gate guards. I don't want to be in a graveyard. I'm going home. Nope. No, you ain't. I am not the gate guard of this graveyard. I dropped by this world because of another case. But if I see it very deep in sin, I can't leave her alone. You ain't getting out of this so easily. No, I'm not a ghost. Although you're a fairy, you possess great power. Oh, man. She is the strongest. That's her whole, th that's her whole shtick. But because of that, you often stray from and misclaim your territory. You cause too much trouble, baby. She's just like, am I really getting called out now? Is that really happening? At this rate, you won't be able to return to your original power of nature and you may receive damage. Because fairies are like nature things. There's a whole, I'm the strongest, she said the thing. There's, there's a whole like structure to how fairies work with nature and the environment and what they can control. In other words, that means death. If you die, then we'll most definitely judge you. Such human-like threats. She's very clearly scared, but she's putting up her cool guy bluff because that's what she does. Because she is the strongest. I don't care, Yama. I thought you were gonna like judge her for being a dummy, but no, it's just it's just her being reckless. Well, that's fair. I guess. One of my favorite things about this game is that for all the characters you play as, I guess except the Yama because I have, I don't think I've ever beaten the Yama's storyline before. The Yama's like, look, you do this, this, and this wrong. <laughs> like with Reimu, it's like, bro, you need to learn to chill the fuck out before you start exterminating everything. With Marisa, it's like, Hey, maybe don't steal books from your friends. That's not cool. I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head what anyone else is. is. Hamachi's is probably, you are slacking the fuck off and I need you to stop. <laughs> I wish I could remember what Raisins was. I think it has to do with... So the whole reason... Grayson's on Earth in the first place, right? Her, um, Aiden and Kaguya, who is the bamboo cutter princess from that fairy tale, by the way, um, like canonically. Um, basically, Kaguya wanted to leave the moon. She's a moon princess, and basically, the officials on the moon, like the royal family of the moon, kind of, sort of, was like, "Fam, no, you can't do that." Fuck. So she was like, Aaron, my most trusted friend and advisor, help me get the fuck out of here. And Aaron, who's probably one of the smartest characters in all of the Toho series, probably either first or second place in terms of just raw intelligence, was like, yeah, okay, because I serve you over everybody else. That makes sense. So they hatched like this huge escape plan and, um, Grayson was a rabbit that was, uh, cause like, rabbits are like the military on the moon, cause the moon is populated with rabbits and stuff. It's a whole thing. Um, Grayson was like also loyal to, uh, to Aaron, not to Kaguya, but Aaron was like, yo, you're coming with me and doing what I say. And Grayson was like, you got it, boss! And then they came to the moon, and then in an imperishable night they were like, we're gonna make it to where the moon never actually fucking sets. And that's the whole reason that you have to deal with them in Imperishable Night. Because the moon doesn't go the fuck away. Go the fuck away. Ooh. Woo! Woo! We beat the- We beat it! Yeah! <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, it fades to white, and then I think it has a little bit of a cutscene. Yes? No? No, yeah, yeah. Oh, nope, game. You good? You good? Oh, no, it crashed! 
encroached. <laughs> That's really hilarious and funny. And it's, I mean, it technically it's not, but that was so, I... <laughs> <laughs> okay um i'm gonna take like a two to three minute break run an ad break so the pre-rolls go away and set up a different toho game <laughs> oh man that's so great and funny and cool and awesome sarcasm oh no fuck <sighs> scuffed ass stream <laughs> I had the wrong transition up. Okay, we be for real this time. Windows noises do go where. One second, one second, I am back. No, no, no game up yet though. Because <laughs> the windows noises. This is going wonderfully. This is why I only had the schedule for one day. I should have double checked on the. <sighs> some of, some of, like, my, my crap just isn't working today. That's what's going on. go. Hey, that showed up automatically. Yay! Um, let me turn down the other music I've got up. Holy fix, and then turn this volume up. No, we don't need the demo. We don't need the demo. We don't need the demo. Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong keyboard layer. Okay, that would help me. Woo! Yeah! So basically, 
Um, <laughs> a lot of my English translations aren't working. <laughs> so we're gonna go um, into it without translated text and it'll be fine. I can probably explain what's going on to some extent. Scuff makes everything more fun, although I guess scuff wouldn't be fun during a surgery. <laughs> it's like... But I bet if I asked Mama she, about it, she'd be like, what, you mean like you scuffed your elbow on the concrete? Falling off your bike? <laughs> anyway, this is Mountain of Faith. This is Toho 10. This is one of my uh, personal favorite Toho games. Um, and because I don't feel like going hard on myself, I'm going to play on easy mode and I'm going to do, I, if I remember correct, this is a uh, sailing needle type. So it's the kind where when you're holding down, um, I don't know what the specific button is called, but sh shift on your keyboard is the default. Um, I'm not using shift, but, um, it'll give you homing bullets once you're powered. Which I've already got to. This is one of the easier Toho games. Um, it's one of my favorites, um, plot-wise. It introduces a lot of really good characters. Um, it also has really slapping music. Honestly, all the games have really slapping music, though. That's, there's not a- Like, obviously the, uh, files on Toho 6 are a little, like, compressed and, like, aren't as, like, polished and fancy. So, the pickup things, the red ones, increase your power output. Um, up until, I believe, if you see on the side where it says power and then there's a number, I think four is as high as it goes. Um, and once it turns to four, it's all just points. Yeah, the little blue ones are points. Um, and then if you ever see a green one, they're pretty rare, but those are bombs. Yeah, no English! But she's like, man! It smells like sweet potatoes. I don't- I remember this one really well. She's like, yo! Are you trying to eat me? She's like, no, man. Are you the person that smells like sweet potatoes? Oh, that is more than four. Maybe it's five. But Aki really thinks she's gonna get eaten? Wait, no. Minoriko's her first name. Uh... This is Minoriko, and then the mid-boss we fought, who didn't give us any dialogue earlier, is, uh, her older- older sister, Shisaha? Yeah, I think she's her older. Fuck! Um, Minoriko is, a uh, harvest goddess, and, uh, Shizuha is more like a goddess of, like, the changes that nature has in fall, so, like, leaves and stuff. She's very maple leaf. Maple leaf, that's her whole thing. Um, she has no dialogue, not until like most of her personality and fan is based off of like speculation and stuff and made up things. You have that with a lot of the characters who have smaller parts in the series as a whole. Like, she's a hug, mean Rico. But that's cool because like ev everybody's got like. Everyone, every Toho is someone's favorite Toho, like how every Pokemon is someone's favorite Pokemon. Here goes my fucking Pokemon Alvarez. She's Canadian? No, she's like the Japanese maple trees. Although I think those can grow in Canada technically? Parts? I don't quite know. I think they're on like the same uh, line of latitude. It's latitude that goes horizontally around the planet. No, those aren't the green that drop bombs. I don't- I don't remember what those green ones are for. Maybe if you collect a certain amount over time, you'll get a bomb? I just- uh, There are little nuances in each one that makes them, like, a little bit different. Um, but obviously 9 had the split screen. Um... 12 has a really neat thing where, like, um, you, there are, like, little mini UFOs that'll give you, like, power boosts and stuff. Um, 
13 has a really weird thing with the, uh, when you get hit, you have, like, a short period of invincibility and, like, things get weird and it's been a minute since I remembered exactly what it is. Every game has its own little shtick. That's my point that I'm taking way too long to make. Um, it's five, not four. Ha. Does one beam auto target? Yes. So, um, each character in most of the games have different, like, attack types that you pick at the beginning of the game. And the one that I chose for Reimu, basically, once her power goes, I think, to two, I think it at least has to be at two, but she gets a homing target. So she's got one line of fire that goes straight down the middle, or straight down where she is, and then a second one that'll auto-target. Generally, whatever is closest to her. Um, and if you uh, look really, really closely at Reimu, you can see, like, when I'm holding down the, whatever the shift key is called. This is Hina! She's a goddess. She's like a... Not a goddess. She's like a... Maybe? Maybe she is... Her whole thing is, like, she absorbs misfortune from humans. So she is, like, very much, like, a person can, who, who is, like, followed by a lot of, like, misery. Or uh, unfortunate. Unlucky. Like, her whole thing is, like, she absorbs that from other people and takes it upon herself. And also she spins! Insert fine sauce spin noise. I wish I had that sound. I should really make a soundboard. I should do that. I keep telling myself, yo, I'm gonna do that, and then I don't do it. But you also have to understand that, like, my list of, like, things I want to do for my stream is all, like, so long. I've accepted that it'll, it will just be gradual things over time. And that's just... Hardest part is getting diagonal fire. Yeah. Yeah, the games that are like heavy on the diagonal fire drive me insane. I know what you're talking about. The last time I was at an arcade, like in person, in real life, I played one of those. Very frustrating. Oof. Also, the timers don't indicate whether you pass or fail the stage. Um, just if you pass in a certain amount of time, you get uh, bonus points. Um, sometimes you'll get like extra bombs if you pass before the time runs out. But it's 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 more so just survive till the time runs out. Um, which make which if you're like well, why it makes a lot more sense when you're playing like lunatic because there will be points in lunatic where you're stuck in, like, the bottom left-hand corner for, like, a solid minute, 30 seconds, just dodging, like, the other 98% of the screen that's covered in bullets. Anyway. Hina's not causing our problem, which I don't even remember what our problem is in this game. So we're moving on! But this game... Well, I mean... Toho Nine kind of barely introduces Yokai Mountain, because it introduces Aya for the first time. This is the first mainline game Aya appears in, but this is also the first game that really showcases the location of Yokai Mountain, which is uh, one of the big mountains in Gensokyo. If I haven't specified what Gensokyo is yet, that's my mistake, and I'm sorry. Gensokyo is the uh, area that Toho takes place in. Um, it's like a sealed off place in Japan that, mo that like people just can't access. You can't get in or out unless you have like very fucking specific powers. Like, very specific. This is another one of my favorites. Which, um... How long is this song used for? Oh, it's Nitori! And she's running away. That's a kappa. <laughs> Nitori is like a shady salesman mixed with like Mimi Solid Snake. 
mixed with the most annoying engineering major you've ever met in your life. But she is like a- she's a big inventor and her- her dress has like a thousand pockets. So that's cool. But yeah, she's- that, that's another- like, that's one that people know, because of Animal Crossing, right? Kappen is a Kappa. So- so is Nitori. That's like one of my favorite things. It's like, what? What? You have these Toho characters. What are their Animal Crossing counterparts? <laughs> You've only got a couple, though. I guess. Because, like, all of, like, the, like, the quote-unquote, like, yokai and stuff are reserved for NPCs, you know? They're not playable characters. Hey! There are enough- there are enough Animal Crossing villagers to where I'm doubting myself on that one. But none of the ones I have are like that. I have, like, Bob, Zucker, Scoot, Judy. I think I have Meringue on my island? Meringue is so cute. Anyway, <laughs> we're not playing Animal Crossing. Um. I believe Mitori appears in some of the later fighting games, and she literally fights with, like, mechanical- She's like- When she fights, it's like, kind of part robot fighting. I guess you can call it that. I- I- I struggle to find the correct term. I don't need to constantly push the button in this game. Be the final boss tom nook maybe i feel like tom nook would be the stage six boss and then for extra stage mid boss would be digby and final boss would be isabel of course isabel would give you the stage that's like extremely short but also extremely chaotic and a bitch to complete only one difficulty <laughs> you would have let's see you would have like uh captain You'd have red. Who else? Who else? Who else? It has to be all NPCs for it, to, for it to really like work. I think. Uh, maybe Tortimer. May that one's a strong maybe. I don't know about Tortimer. I guess you could do Reese and Cyrus. No, you can't. Wait, no. Never mind. I meant the opposite way, but that's just as good. Oh. <laughs> Thinking of like <laughs> Red and Cap and like shooting like copious amounts of bullets at you with small cars and shit. Meanwhile, Raymu and company are just in like whatever the name of your island is. Where the fuck are we? <laughs> and the mayor's like freaking out because everyone's gone <laughs> that like works with them. Oh. Uh, both are good. Both are good. Also, we're going up a waterfall now. If you look, you can see um, some of the fairies um, will sh like will come up the waterfall and then they'll pop their themselves out and then they shoot the bullets. So that's a, that's a neat little thing about this stage. They don't all do it, but they're not all do. Oh right, these are these bullets. Also, you can get more points if you do a lot of grazing, which is letting the bullets get within like a certain range of your uh, main hitbox, which is the little white circle on the back. Um, and doing that gets you more points and better scores and stuff like that, but uh, I'm usually just concerned with like making it through the stage. <laughs> I'm not good enough to try for high scores. Yeah, this one is great. Mountain of Faith has a fabulous soundtrack the whole way through. It's Momiji! She's not a tengu, but she like works with the tengu. She's a dog. Her last name is Inubashi. Inu dog. <laughs> there aren't a ton of dog characters. 
Uh, there's Konichi, there's Hagiro, who is a wolf. Um... Does Aung count? Aung? Yeah, Aung counts! She's a- she's a Koma Inu, which, if you don't know what that is, if you know, like, the- like, the lion dog statues that, like, are really common in a lot of, like, uh, Chinese architecture, she's- she's similar to those guys. So she's a dog, so they're- yeah, like, three- FUCK! God damn it, no! Three do- like, three dogs. It's pretty good. There's a lot- there's a couple cats. There's Shen, there's Rin, there's Nike. I might actually get it. There's three Tengu. There's a crow. No amphibians or reptiles or anything like that. No, wait. There's an Orphish character. I love her. I also just- See, there's Aya. They're talking about some stuff. Um, this time it's less of like, let me get a scoop, more like, you're on our territory so I have to fight you because if I don't my boss will yell at me type of situation. So, so the, so if, if you're wondering, Mallory, why do these characters get into so many goddamn fights? The law of the land is very, like, dual. When our eye is locked, we must have a dual type of, like, that, that's a, that's like the common mindset in Kensokyo. Um, dueling is, like, something people do for fun, for the territory, all sorts of shit. Um... Like, canonically, they are literally having, like, bullet battles that are, like, what you're seeing on screen. But that's canonically how they fight. Oof. But some characters will show up in, like, certain stages and, like, they'll be really easy. And then... You'll see them later, and you're like, oh, that's because you were going easy on me, weren't you? Like, uh, Yuyuko, who is another pink hair, and one of my favorite characters, um, she's the final boss in Perfect Cherry Blossom, but then in Ten Desires, she's the stage one boss, and she's very easy. And it's not- but it's not because, like, you two are fighting, like, your first meeting and you, like, have issues to resolve. It's just like a, hey, what's up? Just a, like- a, a light tussle. This- oh, my tongue needs to heal before next week. This is driving me crazy. <laughs> oh, it's driving me nuts. Anyway, um, Aya's giving us a lead on whatever the- whoever's causing our incident. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even know why I'm laughing anymore. I'm playing with video games live and talking. Maybe that's why I'm laughing. Who knows? I mean, oh, hey, I got a, I got a one up. Hot damn! I think I have three lives before uh, you would force me to use it. So I think. I think I might! Imagine if- if- imagine a no CC clear. That'd be nutty. Even on easy mode, for me, that's kinda nutty. I don't think it'll happen. I think stage 6 will kick my ass. Because I've played Not No Faith all the way through before. <laughs> and confirm- Oh no, fuck! I was- ah, I jinxed myself. There she is! There- there's Sanai! That's Sanai. She's another favorite character. I have a lot of favorite characters. <laughs> okay, now I'm running my mouth too much and not paying attention. Sanai, please. Sanai is also a shrine maiden. She'll talk to Rainbow in a minute. 
That was my first bomb. I don't even know how many I own right now. But, I got another extend in this stage, which is pretty nice. I like that. I'd love to see that. Whew. What? No! Shit! Good, use bomb. I know. I, I just sit on them and I don't use them until it's like way too late. But anyway, this is Sane! Basically, she's telling you that her and the gods that she like does her work for have come here from the outside world. And if I haven't explained that yet, outside world is real life. Basically, Sane is knowledge of real life stops at like the PS3 is the newest console. Three is in this console is like around the time they moved to Gensokia. I feel like I could be wrong. Anyway, they're 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 having their conversation. <clears throat> and Sane is like, we're the new cool shrine in town. We're gonna take your business and stuff, and I'm gonna be the best shrine maiden ever. Uh, that's not that's not I don't believe that's what she says. That's I don't even think that's me paraphrasing. I think it's just me spouting some shit. But, yeah, she was- Ah! Fuck! She, uh, is from the real world. She was raised by the god- the gods that she does her work for as a shrine maiden. They were like, Yo. I'm basically explaining what the next- what the next boss is gonna tell us. But- oh, I went into that! I did that- Oh, That was a dumb- Sh oh, fuck. Fuck. Fuck! She escaped real life to fight you? Basically, they, uh, they came over to Gensokyo because, you know, it's like modern day Japan. Um, because, you know, they're only in Japan. This skin takes place in Japan. You know what I mean? Um, anyway. They were like, we're not getting any faith anymore from, like, the people in this world because they don't believe in the old gods anymore, you know? Like, the world is either pretty much non-believers or they believe, like, these certain religious subsets that don't have anything to do with us. So, we gotta figure in, like... For, like, gods that have, like, religious ties in the Toho universe, if they don't have any faith of any kind, they die, I think? And that's, like, a really oversimplified thing? If you go in the top corner, you'll suck in all the items. Yeah. I'm just... You'd think after 10 years of playing these games I'd be a little more advanced, but no. No. Well, hopefully we can at least beat the- Ah, fuck! I gotta stop saying things! I'm jinxing myself! Sana is like, I heard you talking shit.
okay, they're talking, blah 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 I can't read any of it! I'm not going to assume the linguistic abilities of anybody watching this right now. But I will, for myself, I feel comfortable speaking for myself. I couldn't read any of it. Don't read, don't read Japanese. I can recognize certain hiragana and katakana and that's really it. Ooh. But I'm going to do my best to not fuck up. Ah! Why? Why do I keep fucking up? Oh my god. This is just embarrassing at this point. Oh, we didn't even make it to this last time! That has happened on this freaking channel. <laughs> Woo. Okay, we lived through that. We lived through that. I don't remember what the rest of her spell cards are. But so far, this is not. This one is not bad. This one is not bad. Okay, you can go up to the temple and talk to my boss slash mom. My f so like personally, my favorite fanon interpretation of all of Toho, man, I fucked that up. Is like the familial thing between Sanai, uh, Kanako, and Suako. Absolute my like where Kanako and Suako are just like her goofy ass moms. Love it. Love it. Give me more of that content any day of the week. Please, I love that shit. Oh, now we're going sideways! It's been a long time since I've played Mountain of Faith and made it to stage 6. Oof. I don't think I'll have any issues until we get the boss fight. Probably will, knowing myself. But hey, hey, I think we're here. Blah 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 blah. It's Kanako! With her hair looks so goofy in her official portrait. It's so fun. I love Kanako. I would like to cosplay her, but I don't know how I could do the big giant ring thing that she has on her back. Oh, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, she is. A mountain god? I don't remember the specifics, but she also has one of my favorite songs in all of Toho. Because, you know, every character has at least one song. Kanako's is one of my absolute favorites. Also, look at her! She's rainbow! I mean, there are ways I can figure out how to do it. It seems like it would be so fun. I wear my cosplays to conventions. And like, always, they are a thing. I am not doing great. I'm not doing great. I'm not doing great. I'm not doing great at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hoo -hoo! That was close. Whatever. 
I'll do it again. <laughs> Damn it! You've got to be fucking kidding me. Son of a bitch. That was a dumb mistake on my part. I like how she so kindly leaves an escape path for you in the middle of all those lasers. I know they have to or the game would be unbeatable, if that makes no sense. Oh man, just wait so- <laughs> Have you ever heard of the- the- I don't remember what the number is, I think it's 14.5? Have you ever heard of Impossible Spell Card? That whole game is about the fact that uh, you can't dodge the spell cards, so you gotta figure out what to do. You do some crazy shit in that game. Like, you warp from from the right side of the screen to the left. You, like, turn the whole uh, screen, like, upside down. You do all sorts of weird shit in that one. Okay. Okay, Kanika, we're going off strong. on my power. I, w I don't want to die! And like, I'm not good at impossible spell card, but I've watched people play it before. And it's really cool. Yeah, you, yeah. Literally, they're not dodgeable, so you have to do weird. You have to do all sorts of stuff. Um, the character you play as is called. Oh, fuck you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. I think that's a good point to kind of call it for tonight. This has been a goofy, messy stream, has it not? It's fine. It's because I've been preparing for my birthday stream, and that has taken a lot of the mental fortitude that I have when I am done with work things. Um, if you're like, oh, what the fuck are you talking about? Boy, hi! <laughs> um, I have a birthday stream next week, a week from today. It's starting at 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, etc. Um, I think that's like 7 p.m. British time or something. Oh, no. No, it's not. I don't remember. Time zones. They're fun. Um, like my streams try to be. I'm glad you had fun, Tuttle. Um, it's going to be a longer one. Like, I think like at least five hours is what I'm going for. Um, we're gonna- I'm gonna do Mallory's meme review. I'm gonna do some putt-putt, which is- it's not mini-golf. I'm gonna maybe do some Homestar watch-along stuff. I'm not 100% sure about that. 
and then try and find some other fun things in the short amount of time I have left to plan. <laughs> it'll be great, it'll be fun. Um, if I can do some like award type things, I just, I don't have any ideas. I need, I, I'm going to go scrounge for ideas off the internet after this. Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> It's fine. It's great. Um, thank you so much. Are you gonna watch some random memes or do you have some prepared? Oh, no, everything's prepared and curated and maybe I'll have like some semblance of a script. No, it's, it's, it's like my whole, my whole thought process was like how like anime conventions have some like goofy like panels like later in the evenings, usually on like Fridays or Saturdays where they show like a bunch of goofy videos. It's, it's kind of, the it's hopefully going to be like that. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm hoping I will have fun surprises planned. Either way, thank you so much for coming to my stream. <laughs> Even if you're only able to come for just a couple of minutes, I always appreciate anybody who takes the time out of their day to come visit, come watch, come, like, think of me and their brain and use their mental processes. <laughs> I hope to see you next time. I will be back on Friday, and I'm going to be playing Power Washing Simulator for the first time. Why not? <laughs> uh, um, let me make sure I've got like the right transition of this time, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. <laughs>